Hi, Dave Anderson from The Camera Company. In today's Tuesday tip, I'd like to share with you how you can remove people from shots of monuments or the foreground uh, if you're shooting real estate or other images where people are milling around, but what you really want is the image in the background. So here we have the state capitol as seen from Monona Terrace, and what I've done is I've taken several images. And you can see that there are people milling around and a car at the stoplight turning in front of us, people walking across the street. Here comes some folks with an umbrella. And the reality of it is, is there was never any exact moment where I could take the shot without these people here. So I'm going to show you a little trick that Photoshop has in their scripts called the median script. And what we're going to do is blend together a number of images so that we can have one composite image of just the state capitol and the walkway going up to it and all the people have magically disappeared. So to back up, what I did is I took a series of about 15 or 20 images, mounted the camera on a tripod, set the timer, and took a series of images, all the exact same scene. Now what we're going to do is export those 15 to 20 images as JPEGs, full-size JPEGs out of Lightroom and into a folder that we can then use to open up in Photoshop. So I'm going to export these and I'll be right back with Photoshop. Okay, here we are. I've opened up Photoshop and as you can see I've created a folder which I exported my JPEG images into. I exported them as full size without any compression and then you can see they're about 12 megabyte files each, 12 to 12 and a half. So we're going to use a full-size file in order to get us the best possible render and the best possible image. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and continue editing. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. And now in Photoshop, we're going to go to File. Let's get into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Scripts. And we're going to go to Statistics. Now in our dialog box for image statistics, we can choose our stack mode. In this case, I want median, but they have some different ones available. Today, we're focusing on median because we want to remove those uh, people from the foreground. Now, we need to tell Photoshop what files to use. So let's browse to our folder. There it is. There's our, our folder with our 20 different JPEG images. It says that uh, these are the ones we want, so we're going to go ahead and select them all. Once we select those images, we tell them to open. And what Photoshop does is it brings them into uh, this dialog box and allows them to be ready to use for Photoshop to do this image stacking. I also have checked the attempt to automatically align source images. You know, on the chance that the tripod got bumped and one of the images is slightly out of frame or just got moved a little bit, we want Photoshop to fix, this, fix that for us. So now that we have all this ready, we say OK and we sit back and wait. What Photoshop does is it starts bringing the images in and one at a time, it starts comparing each image with the next image. So for example, where these folks are walking down the walkway here, it's looking at all 20 of those images to say what is common between all of them and what is different. The common is what we want to keep. We want to keep that common area so that in this particular case, the light post and the sidewalk is going to come in and it's going to throw out the data of the image where the people are walking. So this takes a little while. We'll give it a second, and we'll be right back when it's done. Okay, we can see that Photoshop is rendering the image stack median. Any second now, we should have our final image. And what it's going to do again is take everything that's common, put it together, and take the odd images and throw them out to give us one final composite image. And there you go. All of our people have gone away, and we have a nice, clean image of the capital, of the walkway leading up to it. This is a useful tool if you find yourself in a situation where you do want a picture of a, of a monument or building and there are people strolling around. It's not really good if you use it in a soccer game because you're going to make all the soccer players go away. Let's take a quick look at the before and after. Here's our final shot with the state capital, And then let's open up Lightroom and open up some of these images. And this is what we had before people walking around, cars, people with umbrellas, strollers, they all went away to give us that one final image of the state capitol. 
I hope this tip was helpful. If so, please follow us on Facebook. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will see you in the next video.